like to say good morning to each and every one of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Our Father and our God, Father God, as we come before you this morning, we come and giving you thanks, we giving you honor, and we come giving you praise. Heavenly Father, if thou be so pleased, if you don't mind, would you give us our daily bread for the day? Father, and lead us not into temptation, and Father, keep us from evil. Father, because you said in your word that you know the desires of our heart, and if it's in thy will, it shall be done. As I come to you before you this morning, I want to continue on on a theme from last Sunday, getting back to basic. And when we get back to basics, his death on the cross, his resurrection, that's what we think about when we think about good news. It's kind of difficult when you say good news. How can that be good news? His death, burial, and resurrection. If he didn't die for you, you'd still be marred in sin. If he wasn't resurrected, he wouldn't be who he said he was. Amen. As I come to you this morning, I want to look at this thought right here. You know, God says he will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And so all we have to do is accept him and everything will be all right. Well, as I come this morning, you know, we come... And the backdrop behind all this is uh, what's going on in the world today. We have the pandemic. We have the country that's uh, all out of control. But God has a word for you today. We're going to go to Psalms chapter 33, and we're going to start around verse 8. Psalms 33, starting at verse 8. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world Stand in awe of him, for he spake, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Amen. Now, my sisters and my brothers, that, that should tell us right there that our nation, God should be the God of our nation. As we are seeing things unfold here lately, it seems like our nation has forgotten who God is. The world has forgotten who God is. But he has a word for you. He says, now, remember me. Remember who I am. Remember, Exodus 13 and 3, God says, remember, I'm the one. Me, myself, the Lord thy God, who is the one that brought thee out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. He said, remember that. Always remember that. And he said, forget not the Lord. Forget me not the one who brought you out of Egypt. Because when you were in Egypt, you cried and you cried, and then I heard you cry. I heard you. And I sent a man to deliver you out of Egypt. I sent my servant Moses to deliver you out of Egypt. So right now, somewhere, someone has a word for you today that can deliver you out of your Egypt, out of your bondage. We are in the world, so whatever happens in this world that we live in, we are going to be a part of it. We are going to be affected by it. It's going to come to your house. It's going to come to my house. It's going to come to 
every house on this planet because we have forgotten the true and living God. And when we do that, my sisters and brothers, we put ourselves in peril because he said, forget me not and remember, remember how I fed you in the wilderness. For those 40 years, your raiment or your clothing, they never wore out. The shoes on your feet, they never wore out. I kept you, I fed you bread from heaven. I had water to come forth from a rock. I kept you those 40 years. If I kept you those 40 years, you think I can't keep you now? If I led you then, don't you think I can lead you now? But what I need you to do is not to forget who I am, the great I am. I am your protector. I am your provider. I am everything that you will ever need. When, it said, when, when the word says he is your great I am, whatever it is you need, he is. He am. He is whatever we need today. And as we go through this pandemic, as we go through this season in our lives, and we see all these things that are going on, always remember, he is still God. He will never change. You may change. I may change. But his word will never change. So let's hold on to that thought right there that God's word will never change. What has been will be no more. What is yet to come, that's in the future. What we can do right now as people of God is mount up, bring forth our shield, bring forth our sword, because we're gonna need that in these days to come. I made a statement the other day, I know how to be poor. I've been poor all my life because everything that I have above nothing came from God. Everything that I have came from him. All that I can possess on this planet, it would have to be provided by him. Doctors treat me, they can't heal me because all healing comes from him. If I open up my hand, put it in his hand, then everything I know will be all right. It may not be all right on this side, but I know I have a home on the other side because he said in his word that he went to prepare a place for me. He went to prepare a place for you. And all we have to do is lined up to meet him in that place. He said, well, what do I have to do? do? Do I have to do anything? You have to line up with the word of God. Now, you don't have to do anything to make hell your home. You can just sit right there and say how good you are. And I'll bet you right now there's a lot of good people in hell. But to make heaven your home, you have to line up with God. He said, keep my statues and my commandments and everything will be all right. Now also now in his word it says, now there's gonna be some that's gonna persecute you. That's just gonna happen. There's gonna be somebody out there gonna say, I remember when. And you know what I say to that? I appreciate that you remember because I remember also. And I don't wanna go back to where I've been. So let us go back to basic. Let us go back to knowing who Jesus is and let Jesus know who we are. It's a wonderful thing to know him, but it's an even greater thing for him to know you. So that when he hear your voice at night crying out for your children, when he hear your voice at night crying out for your family, when he hear your voice at night crying out for this nation, he knows that that's one of his children, he know, he don't have to say, I hear a strange voice, depart from me, I know you're not. 
Amen. Now that's my Jesus. It took him a long time to get here. He came and when he was on the cross, he said, it is finished. Not I am finished, but it is finished. There's some more work for you and I to do each and every day. So we should always, always be looking for an opportunity to share Jesus. We should always be looking for an opportunity to profess Christ. Not only to say that we believe in him, but to show that we follow him. Believing is one thing, following him is another. Because you wouldn't follow no one who you don't trust. And your trust should be in the Lord. Now, I have associates, I have friends, I have confidants, I have all those things, just like you. And, and we, we, are, we are close, and we are tight, and I have some that I can tell everything that's going on in my life and in my heart, and I know that that'll still be there. But we should have our soul trust in the infallible God, because fallible man may fail you. I may fail you, but God never will. So remember, my sisters and brothers, if he kept you, if he kept his children in the wilderness for 40 plus years, for 40 years in the wilderness, they never wanted. They never needed. They wanted a lot of things, just like you and I. They wanted, but they never needed because he supplied all their needs. And as he supplied their needs on their wilderness journey, I'm sure that he'll be able to supply your needs on your wilderness journey. It may be raining right now, but the sun will shine again. It may be raining right now, but the rain too shall pass. My sisters and brothers, this is all I have for you this morning. And I hope it touches your heart in, in, in some form or fashion to let you know that God is real. That God is still the same God yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So when we pray now, when we pray, when we take our blank check, to the windows of heaven to be cash. Pray our Father. Pray forgive us our, because we all are indebted to him. So pray for your brothers, pray for your sisters, pray for your family, pray for this nation. And until we meet again, I wanna thank you. I wanna thank Reverend Polite for allowing me the opportunity to do these messages to allow me to exercise what God has given me. Until we meet again, my sisters and brothers, I have done what says the Lord. May the Lord bless and keep you is my prayer.